Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you people are doing very well. So here I am with our new topic that is triangles. Okay, so this is from the class 10th that is SSLC board of Karnataka. Okay, and in this video I am going to explain and solve the questions which are very important for your exam that is going to happen in the July 2021 okay so it will be a top 20 multiple choice questions and particularly based on the new exam pattern okay so before starting that let me ask you if you are new to this channel kindly do subscribe the channel okay and if you find this content very easy very useful then kindly like comment and share it with your friends okay so let us start but uh, before moving to the questions let me give some basic concepts related to triangles which is there in your textbook okay so so triangles you all know it has how many sides three sides correct this is a triangle it has three sides and three angles if i call a b c we denote this as triangle a b c as a okay it is a triangle with uh, side a b b c and c a a b and c are the angles we denote angles as like this correct you all are aware of this now if i draw another triangle okay of the name pqr we will call this as triangle pqr now both of them can either be congruent or they can be similar now you should be aware of these two terms the difference between these two terms is very important see congruent refers to figures with same shape and same size their size and shape is same for example if you take one rupee coin okay if you take all the one rupee coin they are of the same shape and same size we'll call them as congruent figures okay means the shape and their length breadth height whatever is there it will remain the same if these two triangle has to be congruent then if angle a is 30 angle p should be 30 b 40 this should be 40 same as c and r and also a b the length of a b should be equal to length of p q similarly with other sides everything should be equal only then we will call it as a congruent triangle okay and we denote this by this symbol this is the symbol of congruent now similar figures are which see a figure is called as similar when it has same shape the shape will be same but size will be different with a different size okay for example if you take uh, uh, 10 rupees note okay if you take a uh, indian 10 rupee note and if you compare it with rupees 500 note okay or rupees 20 rupees 50 or rupees 2000 note they all look same with size rectangular but someone is small someone is a little bigger right they are different in size so we call such figure as what similar figures okay and your chapter that is triangle is totally based on the similarity criteria okay so i hope i am clear that the difference between similar and congruent has been understood to you by you okay so now what are the topics which we have to study in this chapter first is we have a bpt theorem okay basic proportionality theorem it is also called as thales theorem you should be aware of this okay thales theorem what does it states Ki if a line is parallel to uh, a side of triangle then the other two sides are in same ratio right if this is uh, de de is parallel to bc then we can say at by db will be equal to 
A E by E C. This is what Thales theorem, right? You have to remember this. And also we can write this A D by A B will also be equal to A E by A C. Even this you have to remember. Okay. Smaller side to the bigger side will be equal to smaller to the bigger side. Okay. So this is first thing. And second thing what you have to remember is areas of similar triangles theorem not theorem you have to just remember the concept of that so this is the symbol of similar okay this was what congruent and this is similar okay so what is this area of similar triangle c if we have two triangles like uh, p q r a b c okay let this be a b c this be p q r then area of a b c and divided by to the ratio of uh, area of triangle pqr will be equal to what if they are similar their corresponding sides like ab is corresponding to pq this area ratio will be equal to the ratio of the sides of corresponding sides okay square of their corresponding sides this you have to remember similarly it will be also equal to bc by qr whole square and ac by pr whole square this is the second thing which you have to remember and the third thing in this chapter is Pythagoras theorem okay and this is very easy because we have seen this in trigonometry right so this is valid for a right angle triangle right if this is the triangle ABC with B as 90 degree then we call opposite side of 90 degree as hypotenuse right and square of hypotenuse that is ac square will be equal to the square of the sum of the other two sides ab square plus bc square this is known as pythagoras theorem right so you have to remember these three basic concepts okay only then you can solve the problems which has been given here okay so let us start solving the problems one by one you can be ready with your notebook pen okay first look at the question try to solve it by yourself if you can solve it just check with the answer or else if you are sure it's right then you can move to the next question okay okay so let us start with the first question so this is our first question in the given figure x y is parallel to bc then ax by xb is dash so it is very easy question ax by xb the smaller side to the smaller side is will be equal to what ay by yc right so ay by yc option number b is the correct answer so it's very easy based on bpd okay moving to the next question so this is our second question okay it is also very simple let us see in the given figure if triangle poq okay this is poq okay towards this side is similar to triangle sor okay and pq is to rs pq is to rs is equal to 1 is to 2 then op by os is dash so if you take this two triangle poq okay this is they have told it is similar to triangle sor right so pq this side divided by rs or sr okay is equal to 1 by 2 right that is the ratio now op which is op this side op by os even that will be same correct because it is corresponding side so the ratio of corresponding sides are always equal for a similar for similar triangles okay so answer is 1 is to 2 itself okay they have not given os by op they have given op by os okay therefore it is 1 by 2 only okay what would be the answer if they have given os by op can you tell me in the comment section it's there in the option itself just try to find it by yourself and tell me the answer okay moving to the question number three so this is our third question okay question number three in the given figure de is parallel to bc okay ade okay ade this angle is 70 degree let me write it here and bac okay this angle from b 
AC. This angle is how much? 50 degree. Now, the angle BCA, BCA, they have asked this angle is how much? Okay. So, since these two sides are what? Uh, parallel, we can say that these two will be congruent. Which two triangle? ADE okay, will be congruent to which one? ABC. Okay. Got it. So, angle A will be equal to angle A. Means it is 50. Angle D will be equal to angle B. It means if this is 70, even this will be 70. Similarly, angle E will be equal to what? Angle C. But we don't know this value. That can be what? We can find it using this 180 minus these two because AD is a triangle and sum of the angles of triangle is 180. So 180 minus how much is this? 70 plus 50 is 120, right? So 120 if you do, you will get 60. So 180 minus 120 is 60. So if this is 60, even this will be 60. So option number A is the correct choice. What is? It's very interesting question. Okay. Going to the next question. Okay. So this is question number 4. In the given figure, AD is equal to 2. Okay. You can see this side they have given AD is 2. AE is 3.5. Okay this side AE is 3.5 BD is 3 okay from here to here is 3 now AC is 7 A and C is 7 this total length is 7 okay centimeter all in centimeters is D is is parallel to BC is this parallel to BC how can we say if e, uh, the sides are parallel only if their corresponding sides are in same ratio so see here we have got 2 here 3 so if I write AD by, uh, if I take this whole AB, even that is fine. Or if I take just BD, that is also fine. AD by DB will be equal to what? AE by EC. Why? Because if this has to be parallel, this is the BPT condition, right? Now let us substitute. What is AD? 2. This is 3. And here if you get how much here? AE is uh, 3.5. And here how much? EC will be how much? This total is 7. So even this will be 3.5. Because 7 minus 3.5 is 3.5. So this is 3.5. Correct? So how much will you get? If you cancel here, you will get 1. 1 by 1. So when you cross multiply, you are getting 2. And here you are getting 3. Are they equal to each other? No. So since they are not equal, we will say ki, they are not equal. So the answer is no. DE is not parallel to BC. Got it? So, you have to keep this in mind. Understood? Moving to the next question. So, here the question is, in triangle ABC, D and E are the points on sides AB. Side AB and AC respectively. Okay. So, let me draw the figure first. So, imagine this is the triangle ABC. Okay. And they have given, D and E are the points on side AB and AC respectively. Respectively means, the first is D here. And first is AB here. So D should be on AB. Okay. E should be on the second. That is AC. Like this. Such that DE is parallel to BC. Okay. Fine. If AE is 2. This is 2. Okay. AE. BD is 4.5. Okay. This is BD which is equal to 4.5 centimeter. And AD is 3. Okay. This is 3. Then what is CE? What is this? So same. Apply BPT directly ad by db that is 3 divided by 4.5 it should be equal to 2 divided by we don't know ec so when we do cross multiplication we will get 3 into ec equals to 4.5 into 2 so 4.5 into 2 so what will be ec it is 4.5 into 2 divided by 3 right so 4.5 into 2 means what double of 4.5 so double of 4.5 is 9 or else you just multiply 5 to the 10 4 to the 1 9 so 9.0 is 9 divided by 3 so when we solve 3 3 is a get cancelled so we'll get ec as how much 3 centimeter so option number b is the right choice got it so most of the questions are from bpt here don't worry you'll get other type of questions also and they will be very interesting okay and if you are also finding it interesting kindly do like the video Okay, and if you have not subscribed it, 
please subscribe the channel okay going to the next question so this is our question number 6 what have they given in the triangle abc ad is the bisector okay this is the bisector we can see means these two sides are equally divided bisector means that of a okay any one angle a is equally divided now if ab is 5.6 okay this is 5.6 ac is 4 okay this is 4 dc is 3 where is dc this is 3 then bd is how much what will be this one okay so it is also based on same bpt okay the only thing is there is a common in both the triangle if you take these two triangles okay like a d b and if you write this a d c c a is corresponding to a b is corresponding to c you have to keep that in mind and d is corresponding to what d only this is d only right so we can say they are similar to each other so what will be their corresponding sides a b by a c will be equal to what b d by b c correct and if you are taking first from the lhs this figure okay like a b you have taken here at the first that is in the numerator and in the denominator you have taken this similarly for the next ratio also you have to take first from the same triangle you can't write uh, dc by bd here got it keep that in mind so when we substitute the values here we will get 5.6 divided by ac is how much 4 and bd is unknown but bc is known how much is that sorry bc is known bd is unknown sorry this is dc no sorry 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 bc okay so dc is how much 3 so when you cross multiply you will get 4 bd is equal to 5.6 into 3 divided by how much uh, okay 4 here i will write directly so this much will you get okay so on solving this how much will you get you can solve this 5.6 that is 56 by 4 if you do okay so 4 ones are 4 1 6 so 4 4 is a 16 okay so there was a decimal over here so you can put it here so 1.4 into 3 how much is this 3 4 is a 12 1 carry 3 1 is a 3 plus 1 4 decimal is here it is in centimeters so the answer is 4.2 not 2.4 it is 4.2 got it it's very simple you have to just understand substitute and calculate nothing else okay moving to the next question okay so the next question you can see it here triangle abc is similar to triangle def so let me write it always try to draw the figure abc this is abc and another we have def you can make this bigger also no problem just for reference i'm drawing this such that area of abc that is how much 36 okay so area is 36 centimeter square and here the area is 49 okay it means this was bigger one okay i have written ulta no problem then the ratio of their corresponding sides are so see area of abc divided by area of def should be equal to you can take any side any one side ab by de whole square right now they have given this much this is 36 and this is how much 49 okay ab by de whole square so when we transfer this square to lhs this becomes root so root of 36 is 6 root of 49 is 7 so ab by de is how much ab by de is 6 is to 7 so option number b is the correct answer got it okay moving to the next interesting question now the question will get interested questions are interested now interested interesting they will get interesting okay so this is question number eight okay what have they given the shadow of a five meter long stick is two meter long okay shadow of a imagine this is a stick of five meter long okay its shadow is how much two meter long now at the same time the length of shadow of a 12.5 meter 
height tree in meter is dash how much 12.5 meter okay so if i write another at the same time it looks like this okay 12.5 at the same time it means what they are similar correct so we can tell this by this for example 12.5 by 5 should be equal to this shadow x by what 2 right so when you do cross multiplication you will get 5x equals to 12.5 into 2 so x is equal to 12.5 into 2 divided by 5 this can get get cancelled 5 2 is a 10 decimal and 5 5 is a 25 2.5 into 2 is 5 so this is 5 meter so answer is a option number a is the right answer got it even this is very simple question you have to just understand the question okay try to write the diagram on your own okay required for the question and then you can solve it knowing the basic concept bpt areas of similar triangle and pythagoras theorem okay moving to the next question this is our question number nine what have they given see in the given figure if triangle okay this is triangle a d b where is a d b a d b okay this side is similar to a d c okay a d c okay then the value of p is how much where is p okay this is also p and this is also p is it value of p is how much they have asked so if they are congruent okay what can we say uh, sorry if they are similar we can say their corresponding sides are in the same ratio so a d by a c sorry a b by a c will be equal to what will be equal to b d by d c correct b d by d c so when we cross multiply how much will you get what is a b 18 into what is a c it is p what is b d even this is p and this is 2 so when we do cross multiplication this is p square and this is 36 so p is root of 36 which is equal to 6 so answer is 6 okay if they have mentioned unit centimeter everywhere here also you can write centimeter if unit is not there it is just 6 units so option number b is the correct choice are you finding the questions interesting if yes kindly do like the video okay going to the next question so this is our question number 10 okay we reached half of the full question <laughs> okay if triangle abc is similar to triangle def again write the figure abc this is similar to triangle def it can be a rough figure don't worry okay no need to use scale and pencil because it is mcq question you only have to write the option not this all explanation such that 2ab by de okay this is a little different 2ab divided by de okay and bc is equal to 6 where is bc okay this is bc they have given 6 centimeter then ef is how much how much is this okay so if you see here properly if i write i can write this as a b if i transfer this to lhs this becomes d e in the rhs what is remaining only one and if i transfer this to rhs it gets here one by two correct it means what they have given a b by d e this a b by d e as one by two so this should also be equal to b c by e f right right so now if I write 1 by 2 is equal to BC by EF, what is BC? They have given it as 6. 6 is equal to 1 by 2 and here EF. So when we do cross multiplication, EF is how much? 6 into 2 is 2F. So that is the answer. Option number B is the right choice. Got it? Moving to the next question. So we have one half of the war. Okay. Adhi Jang Jeetli Hamne going to the question number 11th. So, in the given figure, ST is parallel to QR, the length of PT is dash. Okay, they have given the figure here PS is 2.5, SQ is 5, 
pt is unknown tr is 6 and they have asked this length pt so it is same condition okay ps by i will just write ps by sq it should be equal to pt by tr just substitute and tell me the answer take this question as homework okay any confusion no it's similar it is repeating it gets some repeating here that's why i have given you as a homework so solve it and you can comment it the answer in the comment section moving to the question number 12 yes so this is our next question the areas of two similar triangles are 169 centimeter square and 121 centimeter square respectively okay so let me write this is one triangle and this is another they can be of different shape and not shape size here they are given if this area is 169 centimeter square and this 121 if the longest side of the larger triangle is 26 okay larger triangle just by looking at the value we can say this may be larger correct 169 is greater than 121 so we'll assume this as the largest side of the larger triangle and this is given as 26 now the longest side of the smaller triangle we'll assume this as the smaller triangle how much will be this okay so you have to use same area of triangle okay if this is let me uh, tell it as abc keep it as abc and this will be pqr so we can write area of abc by area of pqr is equal to square of ab by pq whole square right so when we substitute 169 divided by how much is this 121 it should be equal to 26 by pq we don't know the value of pq correct whole square now if you transfer this square to lhs i will directly do it it becomes root what is 169 root of 169 is 13 root of 121 is 11 which is equal to 26 by pq so what will be pq when you cross multiply you will get pq as 11 into 26 divided by 13 correct so 13 to the 26 11 to the 22 that is the answer pq is 22 what is pq it is the longest side of the smaller triangle answer is what 22 centimeter got it so they have given in a sentence form just to confuse you but if you know the basics if your concepts are cleared you can do it easily okay moving to the next question so this is question number 13 what have they given a man goes 15 meter due west then 8 meter due north so if i try to represent this directions this is north south this is east and this is what west so assume there is a guy he is walking from here he goes 15 meter west so towards left side so he will go like this okay and this is how much 15 meter and then 8 meter due north means from here north means towards upward direction like this north how much is this this is 8 meter how far is he from the starting point so this was the starting point now he is here so how far is he means you have to just join this so this is what see how tricky the question is this forms a right angle triangle and they have asked the length of hypotenuse got it so hypotenuse is what it is root of use pythagoras theorem 8 square plus 15 square so what is 8 square it is 64 and this is 225 so when we add this this becomes 9 8 to 289 so 289 is square root of what 17 right so answer is a option number a is the right answer and it should be also in meter okay since they have given the dimensions in meter everything should be in meter only so our answer is also 17 meter right so just imagine how interesting this question is if you are finding it easy useful do subscribe the channel and don't forget to like comment and at last you have to share the video also okay it's a promise right you will share it okay thank you moving to the next question so this is question number 14 
what have they given c in the given figure a b c is 90 degree okay this is 90 degree b d is perpendicular to a c okay this is perpendicular and if b d is 8 cm okay this b d is 8 cm and a d is 4 okay this is 4 then c d is how much with c d here is c d correct so how are you going to find this see this can be done in two different ways but uh, we'll follow the easy one the easy one is pythagoras theorem right if you look at this triangle here is 90 degree correct if you just look at b d a in triangle b d a angle d is 90 degree so if d is 90 pythagoras theorem will follow like this a b square will be equal to what a d square plus b d square correct so a d is given as 4 square and b d is given at 8 square correct so this is 16 plus this is 64 so how much is this when you add you will get 80 right so what is a b a b is a b square is 80 so a b is how much it is root 80 correct you have got this one but do we need this actually root 80 yes so now if you just write this figure a b c okay this is a b c right b is 90 degree and similarly a d b if you write a d and b because angle d is 90 so these two are common correct d is 90 a b is how much root 80 what is a c we don't know but we know a b a b is how much a b is here root 80 and here b d is how much 8 correct now we have to find what we have to find the value of c d correct this is c d what is c d if you look at it properly c d is a c minus a d correct so we don't know the value of a c but we know a d a d is how much 4 so if we can find the value of a c okay from this we can easily tell the value of which one c d how are you going to do now are they similar can you say yes they are similar to each other so we can write it here a b by a d is equal to how much a c by a b correct so when we substitute this is root 80 a d is unknown a d is unknown no it is 4 right so this is 4 a c is unknown divided by root how much 8 root 80 sorry so when we cross multiply a c becomes what a c is equal to root 80 into root 80 divided by 4 so both root will get cancelled and you will get 80 by 4 what is 80 by 4 it is 20 correct so a c is 20 now 20 minus 4 is how much it is 16 so the answer of cd is how much 16 and they all are in centimeters so this should also be in centimeter 16 centimeter understood so this is how you have to solve this question understand it and then find it got it moving to the next question so this is question number 15 a ladder 17 meter long reaches a window of a building 15 meter above the ground okay imagine this is the ground this is a building of 15 meter okay and ladder and here is the window imagine a ladder of 17 meter reaches the window okay so like this is the ladder kept what is its length it is 17 okay and this line is very straight not binga not tera it is very straight now the distance of the foot of the ladder from the building this is foot of the ladder correct if you look at it properly if the ladder in hindi we call it as cd right yes in ludo you might have seen this so this is foot of the ladder so distance between this and the foot of building is how much so this is also similar to pythagoras theorem 
so 17 square will be equal to how much 15 square plus this is unknown let me keep it as x square so what is x square it is 17 square minus 15 square 17 square is uh, 289 minus this is 225 so this is uh, 4 right and this is 6 so x is x square is 64 x is how much root of 64 it is 8 so answer is 8 meter got it option number d is the right choice moving to the question number 16 now this is question number 16 what have they given in an isosceles triangle abc okay this is abc isosceles triangle what do you mean by isosceles triangle any two sides will be equal okay so this is abc ab is equal to ac okay this is equal to this side very good and both of them are equal to 25 very good bc is 14 okay this is 14 the altitude from a on bc is dash a on bc is dash altitude so altitude will divide this bc equally means if total is 14 this will be 7 and this will also be 7 okay i will name it as d now we have to find the value of ad so if you look at it properly here okay in this here you can see a right angle triangle this will form a pythagoras theorem correct so ac square will be how much ad square plus cd square we need the value of ad square what will be ad square it will be ac square if this goes to this side becomes minus cd square so ac is how much 25 square minus cd is 7 so this is 225 correct and this is minus how much 7 square is how much 49 so how much will you get when we solve this we will get uh, 15 minus 9 is 6 right 1 minus 11 minus 4 is how much is 11 minus 4 it is 7 so ad square is sorry not 7 50 okay sorry sorry this is 25 square so it is 625 not 225 that is my mistake 625 minus 49 how much is this it is 576 so ad is root of 576 how much is that this is 24 right so option number c is the right answer Got it? So you should be aware of these roots from 1 to at least 30. You should remember the squares and especially of this uh, 24, 25, 26. These are very important. Okay. But you should buy them. And if you don't know, if you can't remember, you should know the trick to find the square roots as well as the squares of any number. For that, I have provided a link in the description box you can watch them and understand how to find square of any number and square root of any given number both the links are available in the comment section as well as description box from there you can learn it okay moving to the next question so this is our next question each side of a rhombus is 10 centimeter rhombus so a plus sign and then join them it becomes a rhombus okay okay each side is 10 so all of the sides are 10 we'll take just any one side let be towards the right one if one of its diagonal is 16 centimeter okay so we'll assume this as 16 okay if this is total 16 here this will become 8 and even this will become 8 because diagonals are bisectors to each other then the length of other diagonal this means you have to find this length okay so here again you have to use pythagoras theorem 10 8 and you can find this x from here to here whatever answer you get just add it together okay or multiply by 2 you will get the length of the other diagonal so how much is that 10 square is equal to 8 square plus x square so this is 100 which is equal to 64 plus x square so 100 minus 64 which is equal to x square and this is equal to 36 which is equal to x square so x is root of 36 6 x is 6 so if this is 6 this will also be 6 6 plus 6 is how much 12 so answer is 12 centimeter okay 
in the options i have missed this centimeters okay but you have to keep that in mind okay in exam they will give for all don't worry so it is also same 12 16 uh, 12 centimeter okay moving to the question number 18 now okay so this is your question number 18 abc is such that triangle abc okay let me write it first okay this is a b c it is such that ab is 3 cm this total is 3 bc is 2 cm and ca is 2.5 cm if def is similar to abc okay so another triangle def is similar to triangle abc okay and ef is 4 this is 4 then the perimeter of def def perimeter they have asked this is also a very interesting question okay based on bpt so if you just look at these two because since only these two are given it is 2 by 4 it means what the difference is 1 is to 2 means if here is 1 here they have given 2 okay here is 2 here they have given 4 means whatever side is here it is just multiplying with the factor 2 to get the side in the next triangle right so this is 2 its double is 4 so the factor is 2 correct so 3 will become what 3 into 2 6 2.5 into 2 5 got it now just add them 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 is 15 so this is how you can solve this question without writing a b y b d d e and all just understand what is the concept here corresponding sides are in same ratio so just look at the ratio 2 and this is 4 so here this side has been doubled with this one so same thing will happen with the other respective corresponding sides got it okay moving to the next question question number 19 so this is your question number 19 what have they given in an isosceles triangle abc okay let me draw abc and this is isosceles so what is isosceles triangle any two sides will be equal ac is equal to bd so let me write ac and b and bc okay this is bc sorry oh hold. <laughs> sorry 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 this is ac towards right side okay this is ac this side is equal to bc and ab square is equal to 2 ac square okay ab square this ab square will be equal to 2 ac square then angle c is how much this angle you have to find so if you just look at here ab square okay e, this is equal to 2 times of ac square okay and one more thing they have given ac is equal to bc so if i write this ab square it can be written as 2 ac square right and since here ac is also equal to bc can i write bc as also equal to ac ac and ac now if you look at this properly if this is a b c when will this okay c can i write this as ac square plus ac square here in this figure a b square is equal to a c square and now since a c square okay a c is also equal to what b c i will substitute this as b c square okay now you just look at the figure this figure okay and you just match with this given condition this is possible only when this angle is how much if this is a b c only if this angle is 90 degree only then we will get in this form that is in the form of a Pythagoras theorem right ki a b hypotenuse square will be equal to sum of the square of other two sides so indirectly they have given c as how much yes 90 degree got it so it is also very simple you have to just focus on the question and try to analyze it and take the question answer out of the question moving to the last question it is question number 20 okay i hope you have found all the questions as very useful if yes kindly do like the channel <laughs> sorry do subscribe the channel and like the video so this is the last question and an interesting one 
I thought of giving you as a homework, but let me explain this. Okay, okay, this is 10 root 2, sorry. Now, a chord of a circle of radius 10 centimeter. Okay, first a circle of radius. So, radius, this is 10 centimeter. Okay. Now, they have given the chord. It subtends an angle, right angle at the center. So, when can it be, it uh, subtend an angle of 90 degree? When it is joining two radius. Okay, only then it will form a angle of 90 degree at center. It can subtend. So, now see, if this is 90, this is also radius. So, this will also become 10. Now, this is 10, this is 10. What will be this? Apply same Pythagoras theorem. If this is x, x square will be equal to 10 square plus 10 square. This is 100 plus even this is 100. So this becomes 200. So x square is 200. x is root of 200. So we can write this as 100 into 2. So 100 root of 100 is 10. So this is 10 root 2. Okay. Actually this is some. Okay. Only 10. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, because two options cannot be same. So option number B is the right choice. 10 root 2 centimeter. Okay, because in the question they have given radius is centimeter. So the final answer should also be in centimeter. So the length of chord is how much? 10 root 2 centimeter. Got it? So I hope you have really liked this session. Okay, and... If you enjoyed it, if you find it very useful, kindly do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like, comment and share. We'll meet you with another interesting topic in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye. Have a good time.